Hey everyone, I'm Ross Hudgens, founder of Siege Media, and today I wanna to tell you how to evaluate how valuable links are in your market. So one of the things I do in a new client process is actually look at how many links they need, one, and two, what, uh, what is the value of those links that they can acquire? Thankfully for tools like SEMrush and Ahrefs, it's relatively easy to do this analysis today, at least directionally, and at least directionally be accurate as to the value of those links for your website. And this is, of course, is a very valuable thing to know. Besides just saying links are a ranking factor, putting actual quantifiable value that ties to the dollar signs will allow you to put some, uh, it, when someone needs to sign a check for this thing, or you need to get something done internally, obviously it's a lot easier to do so when you can actually tie it to numbers uh, that have value in some way. And of course, if we believe that links are a ranking factor, it's relatively simple to do that. So one way we can start this analysis is using a good chart I saw from Kevin Indig, who was just on our content and conversation series. He shows basically how important each thing in terms of the main SEO elements are for each startup. So that would be links, technical and content. And for some businesses it's high, links are high. For some businesses it's low. And the reason that is for, for networks like Facebook, Pinterest, et cetera, is because they can generate a huge number of links uh, just by nature of who they are. For those kind of businesses, it's not that links don't matter less, it's just the nature of the market means links are easier for them to generate. Therefore, they wouldn't go to an agency like the, us or hire an internal link builder because the links are being generated at such high volume. For them, things like technical are of higher importance just because of the nature of their business. Of course, this varies by business type, and for some businesses, it's actually the opposite of that spectrum. So we can think about this using tools like Ahrefs and SEMrush to look at each market and evaluate how uh, potent or valuable links might be to them. So if we start with Facebook, we can actually see that yes, they have or, or a traffic value according to SEMrush of 1.3 billion. That's obviously a ton. But if you actually do the math, and this is how I suggest you do this analysis, is take their traffic value or take their traffic and then divide it by the number of referring domains that they have. So for them, it's 1.3 billion in traffic value. You divide that by 24.7 24 million referring domains and you get a per link value for them. This makes sense because if we think a link has a quantitative value and then their traffic value is Y, we do this math and you can come to an approximate per monthly value on a, a cash perspective. So for them, we do this math, it's 1.3 billion divided by 24.7 million referring domains. And we actually get to a, a per link value of only $52 for Facebook. So if you think about that in the grand scheme of things, even though they have 24 million links, their, their value on a per month basis is only 52. And from the markets I look at, that's actually on the very low side uh, for a business. And that kind of backs up that thought process by Kevin Indig that we saw earlier, is that yes, for a social network like them, they're generating so many links and the, the, the nature of their market that the per link value isn't, isn't very valuable. Uh, but if we look on the opposite side of the spectrum, for a business like cardratings.com. So this is credit card reviews. Uh, it's not a giant brand like Facebook. It's gonna be difficult for them to attract links, but at the same time, obviously they're reviewing credit cards. So therefore their traffic value is quite valuable. So if we look at their math, we can actually see that they have 1.46K referring domains. So 1,460 referring domains. And for them, their traffic value is 2.7 million per month. So if we do that same division of 2.7 million divided by 1.4K links, we now get to a per link value of 1,849 per month. So you compare that from Facebook to card ratings, we get 1.8K for card ratings per month and only 25 for Facebook. You can see this dramatic spectrum at play here, which obviously would mean for card ratings, the value of an extra link for them one will yes be a lot harder for them to generate, but also uh, a lot more valuable. You wouldn't want to stop on just the per month value. So we take that further because you're, sell you're selling yourself short if you're only doing it on a per month basis. I believe a good link uh, well ge that's generated on a high quality website on average might uh, stay around for around 24 months. And there are some studies that say their link ghosts exist and if you have a link and even if it falls off, you retain that value. But overall, I like communicating that the value of our link will really be for 24 months. 
So for card ratings, we can actually do this math and say their link value of 1.8K, multiply that by 24 months, now you get a very high number for their lifetime link value of 22,000. So if you just do very basic ROI, and, and this is why people get so excited about links, if your per link value is 22,000 and your, your ability to generate that link is only 500 to 1,000 or maybe it's even 1.2K on average, if your lifetime value is 22,000, obviously that's massive ROI uh, for that effort. And of course, your value and your traffic can't be purely pointed to the link. There are multiple ranking factors, but if, even if we're directionally accurate that links are worth this amount and we're fair about that and we say it up front, like of course you have to be on uh, lined up on page and other factors must be going well as, as well. Still, if you're generating a per link value of 22,000, it's a very straightforward equation to be investing in link building in some way or trying to amplify that effort. Uh, so hopefully this analysis will allow you to look at your own market, understand where your competitors are, what the value is and what an extra link or two or maybe 100 might do in terms of increasing the ROI and the bottom line for your business. You can apply this and get a lot of value. Um, so if you like this video and you're curious about this for your own market, feel free to comment uh, your, your own website. If it's confusing to you, I'd be happy to do this analysis for you and tell you your per link value. Um, but regardless, we'd love any other feedback. Give us a thumbs up, subscribe, and let us know what you thought in the comments. Thanks for watching.